Hey there YouTube, this is Emma and I am so thankful that you are here because today we are going to be talking about friendships. Woo! I love friends and I love that friends are so important to God. If you go back to the very beginning in the book of Genesis, God made light and he said that it was good. God made the birds that flew in the air and he made the fish that swam in the sea and he said it was good. He made the vegetation, so he made the broccoli, and he made the kale, and he made the carrots. And he said it was good. But then when he made man, and man was by himself, he said, hold up, <laughs> this, this is not good. Man alone is not good. I need to give him, I need to give him a partner. So from the very beginning, it was in God's beautiful design for us to be in relationships with other people. But what's so huge is who are you surrounding yourself with? Because who you surround yourself with is who you're going to become. In the words of Andy Stanley, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, but it's so true. And so I want to share with y'all something that took place in my life that kind of gave me a visual of how important it is to have godly friendships. So I play soccer and it is so fun. And we run all the time. I play midfield. So that position, you run everywhere. And so after practice, I usually smell pretty bad because I I am sweating, I am sweating a lot, let's just say that. And so I come home from practice and I'm so overjoyed and excited to, to tell my beautiful family all about the day and all about what God did. And probably like two words into telling them about my day. In so much grace and in so much love, they're like, sweet Emma, we would love to hear about your day, but you need to go get a shower first and then you can tell us about your day. And that was so, something that was so simple that happened to me in my every day, my every week. But something that I noticed was that I need to surround myself with friends who love me enough to call me out on my funk. Woo! I'm going to say that again. I need to surround myself with friends who love me enough to call me out on my funk. Because people who are surrounded, who sur are surrounding me, and see me walking into sin, see me not making good decisions, see me being down on myself all of the time, seeing me fall into temptation, and they're not doing anything about it. They're saying, oh, it's okay. Or when I'm looking in the mirror and I'm telling myself that I'm not pretty and they're, they're either sitting there not saying anything or they're not agreeing, they're, or they're, they're just going along with the words that I'm speaking over myself that are not true on God's word. That is not a healthy place to be. I need to surround myself with friends who love me enough that they're gonna say, hey, Emma, you're walking down this path and this isn't the path that God wants you on because he loves you so much. They're gonna call me out on it in love, speaking the truth in love. When they're seeing me look in the mirror and telling me things that I'm not good enough and they're watching me tell myself that I'm not meeting the standard and watching me tell myself that I'm not pretty enough, I need to surround myself with friends who remind me of God's truth that says in Psalm 139, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. In Psalm 45, 11, God is enthralled by my beauty, so therefore I can honor him, for he is my God. I can honor him by how, by the things that I speak over myself. I can honor him by who I surround myself with. So what's so beautiful about this too, I wanna share with you, is one of our family mottos is Psalm 1. And in Psalm 1, it says, blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the ways of the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. And it goes on to say that he will be like a tree that is planted by streams of water, yields its fruit in season. His leaves will never wither and everything he does will prosper. So pretty much it's saying that you will be blessed by spending time with godly people. 
Because what's so cool is I cannot go and intentionally pour into the hearts of people who are hurting and pour into the hearts of people who don't know Jesus and invest into people who don't know how loved they are if I'm not spending time with people who pour into me. If I'm not spending time with people who sharpen me, who keep me accountable, who help me keep my eyes fixed on Jesus. Because if I'm not spending time with people who are helping Emma, then I'm going to be so focused on pouring pouring into other people and eventually I'm going to get empty and eventually I'm going to get dried up. But when I surround myself with people who keep me strong in the Lord, who hold me up according to his word, who love me enough to speak truth over me when I'm caught and confused in the lies, then I am a, like a tree planted by streams of water. My fruit is just so, so full and I'm always Oh, sprouting little leaves that are green and they're never withering and they're never withering because I'm surrounding myself with people who are seeking God's word and I'm seeking God's word with them and because of that I'm, I'm, I'm able to pour into people in an even more beautiful and an even more healthy and an even more powerful way because from the very beginning God knew that we couldn't do life alone you were made to be in relationship with God and you were made to be in relationship with people. You weren't made to do life alone. I love you so much. Let me know what your incredible self thinks. Comment below and let me know future topics that you would like to be covered on this channel. And also, I want to give a huge thank you to the incredible How to Life movement that make these videos possible and that just are such an incredible obedience walkers to the vision that God has given them of reaching this generation for Jesus. If you don't know about How to Life, they are absolutely incredible. I'm so humbled that I've had the honor of getting to speak with them. He is raising you up and has called you to walk in freedom so that you can go out and lead other people to freedom. So make sure that you go and follow How to Life Movement, subscribe and like, and just join us in the beauty of sharing Jesus because we're in this together. We're a team. <laughs> I love you.